I'm Nick De Ocampo and uh, I'm the uh, film programmer, uh, festival chairman of the uh, Quezon City International Pink Film Festival. Um, primarily, um, I have run it for around five times, although with a break of around uh, maybe eight years from the last time I organized it. So now we are uh, really going international and we hope to uh, turn this festival into a major uh, hub for LGBT films in Asia. How was your first time at the Berlin Film Festival and what were your experience with the Berlinale so far? The first time uh, I was in the Berlin Film Festival was 1983 and I was a student in Paris. And this was the first film festival that I attended. So you can imagine the amount of excitement that I had. And for um, uh, Fassbinder to uh, win the big award uh, you know, during that festival when I was here, and I was there attending his press conference, I mean, I saw what a big personality he was. And of course, being queer myself, um, wanting to become a filmmaker, I think um, there were a lot of Germans who influenced uh, our generation. Um, Fassbinder and, Wim, uh, and um, Werner Schreuter and uh, Rosa von Praunheim. In fact, I called myself for my first film. Uh, I gave myself the name Rosa ng Mainila in tribute to Rosa von Praunheim. That's how much I looked up to him. And I'm happy that uh, in the um, uh, list of films we're going to judge now, uh, Rosa's film is there. So uh, it will be great to see him again. So this year, I guess, um, maybe around 23 years since after I was here, uh, it's a big change. Um, queer films are more mainstreamed, I think. What I mean is they're more visible, unlike the time when around more than 20 years ago, it was still more of a, a coming out and there was a lot of edginess to it, even in the screenings. So I'm um, pretty glad that I'm here and in the jury. So I'm very much honored for that. Mm -hmm. What were your experience with the Teddy Awards so far and what makes this award special in your eyes? The Teddy Award is quite recent. Um, when two of uh, Filipino films uh, won in the Teddy Award, one was uh, The Man in the Life of Celia and the other is The Blossoming of Maximo Oliveros. Uh, that's when I sort of heard about the Teddy. And um, I, I said, it's good now that you know films you know, have their own section in the festival and also that um, uh, recognition is being given to them. So uh, in terms of experience, this is my real experience right now being here and uh, not just as an ordinary viewer but uh, in the jury. So uh, it's a lot of excitement but a lot of challenge as well. Mm -hmm. What do you expect from a good movie? What is a good movie for you and what would you say must the movie have to be a winning movie? I guess um, the first thing is, do you have a connection with that film? Uh, does it hit you? I mean, as a programmer myself, of course, you get to see a lot of films. And as, on, on top of that, as a filmmaker, uh, you have you know, an inside view of, of the films that you watch. And so it is both the, the, the textual material, the content, and um, uh, perhaps the form of that material that you get to appreciate. But I think it is something like, is it above the rest? I mean, so many narratives are being produced out there, but what makes uh, a film different? So to a certain point, especially for us in Asia, uh, relevance too might be of some interest. Um, as a personal program, uh, as a programmer myself, I think the issue of relevance, um, you know, a film may be a great work of art, but uh, does it really connect with, with people? Mm -hmm. And can you point out some highlights of this year's Teddy program that you're looking forward to? Meeting Rosa von Braunheim. <laughs> I mean, it's really a connection of generations. It is amazing to see that uh, there are some festivals wherein they celebrate everybody who's new, who's young, who just came out from the woodworks. But here, one can see a trajectory, you know, a kind of a continuum. It's not so much as a homage. Homage is one section in itself, but I was just amazed to see that Rosa, you know, uh, and Peter Kern, for example, you know, I mean, these were the people I knew before. I'm sure if Werner Schreuter were alive right now, he should be making films too. But this is, I think, um, what creates tradition, what creates culture. And we are a community in the queer cinema. Uh, for us to, see, to celebrate only the digital artists right now, I think is missing the whole point of what culture, queer culture is. 
of what the queer tradition is all about, and it's international. I think queer cinema is international. You can just imagine that from the first film festival that I attended in 1983, you know, I mean, there I am in Manila, organizing my own uh, film festivals and to a certain point, breaking new grounds also as early as the 80s, you know, uh, coming up with our own, you know, kind of recognition of who we are, you know. I came at the time of the dictatorship and being queer in the time of military dictatorship is not quite a nice thing. It's a dangerous thing. And so... It's, it's good to uh, see the connection, and that's what I look forward to as a highlight in this festival. All right, thank you very thank much you very for the much. interview. Uh, ah, okay, it, it was a bit difficult because I don't know if there you was, heard it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So which um, part was it? That was the one where I asked what you expect from a good movie and what a winning movie is for you. We would like you to repeat exactly what you said before. Oh my God, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. no but we, I would just ask the question again and we reshoot it, is that fine? Okay, you tell me. Okay, we're ready to go. So, what is a good movie for you? What should a winning movie have to be a winning movie? Um, I guess a winning movie is something that, uh, first of all, really has to connect with you because you need to, as an audience, and especially if you're in the jury, um, you must have connection with what you're watching. So um, as a programmer, you look for content. You look for, and as a filmmaker myself, I also look for uh, things that uh, made it possible for that film to be made. So it's not just mere content, but also the form. Uh, is there something new? Is, it something, is there something more uh, cutting edge in it, uh, in terms of technique, in terms of its uh, also relevance? And um, I guess as a documentary filmmaker myself, um, the big challenge for me for a film is does it have any relevance to uh, uh, even the people who get to watch it, who may not belong to the culture where the film was made, but you know, there are very, bur very burning issues in the queer community right now, from health to human rights. You know? I mean, uh, transgenders are still being killed uh, like way back in, the, back in the Philippines. And are there films that connect to this politically and not just aesthetically? You know, but these are films that really are the um, narratives of our times. And uh, if I find that in a film, and every all these elements sort of click, and I think, you know, I, I got a winner.